So you've done a bit of Googling online into how to stay more secure, anonymous and private, but maybe you're still unsure of what to use to make sure no one is peeping into your activities while you scroll across the internet. In an age where everything is being tracked by advertising agencies, social media websites, internet service providers, three letter agencies. FBI, open up! We need some personal space to express ourselves authentically. So today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you a list of ways of how to achieve that. The first one on this list is a VPN. Now I'm more than certain you've heard what a VPN is, so I won't waste your time with something that you already know. But to be specific, you want a VPN that does not store any logs. Because there have been VPNs in the past that would just give up your data to law enforcement or to whoever if they really wanted to. So I'm going to recommend you a VPN that fits the characteristics of not handing up uh, any logs or anything to law enforcement. And that is Molvad VPN. So Molvad VPN is paid, but just realize that if you're not paying money, that usually means that you are the product. Not always, of course, but it's a good indicator. But the way you know a VPN is good or not is how is the way they handle Fed rates. So uh, if you Google it up, you can see a report that Mulvad VPN says the police tried to raid their offices, but they couldn't find any user data. So they, they walked in expecting that, oh, you know, like we're going to raid this place and we're going to find out everything. But they came up empty handed. And that's how you know um, that a VPN company is being honest and true to their word. Tor, also known as the Onion Router, is a browser that encrypts and anonymizes the information going through your browser. It does this by encrypting your data packets and passing them through a series of nodes where it gets decrypted step by step across each node until it reaches the end destination. So it makes it pretty hard for adversaries to find out who you are or what you're up to, but it's still possible through a thing called Sybil attacks. A Sybil attack uses a single node to operate many active fake identities or Sybil identities simultaneously within a peer-to-peer -peer network. This type of attack aims to undermine the authority or power in a reputable system by gaining the majority of influence in the network. The fake identities serve to provide this influence. So essentially, law enforcement has used this method before to bust people down. If you want to look up Wikipedia articles about this, there's one called Operation Animus. And you can prevent against Sybil attacks by checking the circuit or the nodes that you are connected to. Do a reverse IP lookup on them and check if anything looks dodgy. There's a common trend of people using VPNs with Tor, but I don't really see the need for that because guard nodes already provide the service of hiding the fact that you're using Tor, but um, a VPN could probably serve as an extra, extra layer of protection if you really wanted to. If you're talking to people on the internet and you want to make sure that hands down that what you're saying doesn't get viewed by the wrong person, you want to use some encryption tools that will aid you in the process. Using encryption tools like Cleopatra can be a great way to help you send encrypted messages to people without any fear of someone peeping in. I've made a full guide on how to use encryption with Cleopatra. I'll leave a link in the description. An operating system that I would recommend you to use is Tails OS. Tails OS, also known as the Amnesia Incognito Live System, 
is a security focused pri privacy centric operating system designed to protect users from surveillance and censorship. It's built on Debian Linux and is primarily used to ensure online anonymity, data protection and secure communications. The system is designed to be run as a live OS from a USB stick or DVD, meaning it doesn't leave traces on the computer un unless you explicitly tell it to do so. I have also made a guide on installing Tails, which can be found on my channel with the link in the description. If you want a user-friendly and easy to use encrypted mobile messaging system, Signal might be your best bet. Signal uses a sophisticated encryption system called the Signal Protocol, which was developed by Open Whisper Systems. It is completely open source, so you can check to see if you can find any vulnerabilities in it yourself. In the beta version of Signal, they have recently added usernames so you can anonymously talk to people without sharing your phone number. An unconventional OPSEC tool you might not have heard of is TrackMeNot. TrackMeNot is a privacy enhancing browser extension designed to protect users from user search profiling and surveillance. It achieves this by generating fake search queries at random intervals effectively masking your real searches among a large volume of decoy traffic. The idea is to prevent search engines like Google, Bing or Yahoo from building an accurate profile on who you actually are or what your search habits are. Do you hate ads? Me too. Well now you can have your revenge on them. Adnauseum is a browser extension designed to protect user privacy and subvert online advertising tracking. It does this by automatically clicking on all ads it encounters on websites, making it harder for advertisers to build a meaningful profile based on the user's browsing behavior. By simulating clicks on every ad, Adnauseum aims to overwhelm advertisers with false data thereby diluting their ability to track and target users effectively. So for the final OPSEC tool that I will cover in this video uh, is a password manager. And that password manager is pen and paper. And I know everyone's thinking, oh, I need to use the, the key pass manager and this manager and you know, but then there's there's loads of CVEs or vulnerabilities inside each of them. And uh, like my, my philosophy is that you can never go wrong with pen and paper. The less you rely on digital devices, the better, in my opinion. So uh, you, you can never go wrong with just sticking to the basics. And that about covers it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, uh, thumbs up and subscribe. And also, if you want to get more engaged with me and engage with my community, I've left a Discord link down below and you can come and join our server and ask us loads of different questions and all of that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.